Hello boys and girls and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host Shenner. And yeah, we're playing Civ 4 here. This is the very beginning, well, pretty much the very beginning of a campaign. And we are on Emperor difficulty, if I can get the mouse over to work. You can say you can see under Axum it says good, garrison, bad, unhealthy, anarchism, emperor difficulty. So this is two steps up from the normal difficulty. Normal difficulty is Prince. And this is also two steps below Deity, because I'm still really new to this mod, getting used to it. Anyway, you start in 50,000 BC, and we are about 3,000 years ahead of there, which isn't much. We've just been you know, looking around and checking out the map and stuff. And at the very beginning, uh, we focused our technologies on heading towards oral tradition. So we got uh, nomadic lifestyles. So we can start training some wanderers, and those are like you know early explorers. And uh, after that, we are heading down here to oral tradition. So we have only trained one, two, three, four techs. We have language, nomadic lifestyle, gathering, and cooperation, and that's it. Let me see. After oral tradition, I want herbalism. Anyway, so that's all we've done. We haven't done much. Uh, we have a clubman over here. He's a, a guy with a big stick. And he's returning from An Antanarivo. Antanan Antanan <laughs> Antananarivo. Where he stole one of Malagasy's gatherers. So that's pretty awesome. So he's got her in, in tow and bringing her back to home camp. We just trained our second wanderer. So he's going to go out and start wandering and hopefully kill some animals for us. Uh, we are Ethiopia, by the way. It's our wonderful flag. High five, Ethiopia. We're in last place, because on, on harder difficulties, you're always in last place for a while. And we have, uh, on our continent, we're at a little choke point here. So we have this tribe, the Ainu tribe, completely blocked off. They can't get anywhere. <laughs> They're stuck. <laughs> so they can't explore. They can't do shit. They can't pass their units through my city. They would have to attack me to get through. And of course, they're not going to attack. Because uh, in this mod, you start with a defender unit called a tribal guardian who has 2 strength and 200% city defense bonus. So he's got 4 strength right now and a fortify bonus of 25%. So they're not going to attack that. They're just going to ignore it and let me keep my city. And they're just not going to explore. So they're not going to know any of these other tribes. They're not going to be able to do shit for a long time. And we'll probably just kill them out. So anyway, this map we're on is a Perfect World 2F map. Um, you know, I, w I recorded this entire thing from the beginning, including all my uh, uh, custom game options. You know, when you start a game, you start a custom game where you get to pick all the options. And for this mod, you have to go through the custom games options to pick all the stuff. Like, uh, you have to start on snail speed to really get the uh, experience out of this mod that you're supposed to. And... Lots of other stuff. But anyway, we have a standard size map with medium water, uh, prehistoric start. Uh, it's a perfect world 2F map. Uh, what else? Temperate climate. Uh, and instead of, it's, it's it wanted to start us with seven sieves. And instead of seven sieves, I put it up to 16 civilizations. So that's why there's one right next to us and one up there and one right there. It just it, it, there's it makes the map a lot more active having more sieves. So that's what I like. Anyway, let's keep going. Wanderer, can you kill this tiger? No, you cannot. But you can defend. Here, defend. Maybe he'll try to attack you. Actually, go up to this hill. It's even better defense. Come on, tiger, attack me. I mean, our unit's only strength of one, but it gets a big bonus for his wild animals, so hopefully he'll attack. Sounds like we killed it. Sweet. <laughs> and we're almost dead. But now we have a bonus gr gorilla one. Cool. Heal up. Okay, so our clubman has made it home with the uh, lady that he clubbed over the head, so he's going to make her gather some stuff. 
So you go ahead and you gather stuff. And the clubman, he's going to go out. And he's going to try to find another uh, gatherer to steal. We stole one from the uh, Ainu tribe, but then they killed my unit. So they got their gatherer back. That sucked. Oh, Axum is shrinking. That's not good. Wait. Can your... Can you shrink below one city size? Is it even possible? Got some root tubers going. I guess we'll get a seed camp as well. Because this says that we're going to shrink in two turns. But we're only a size of one, so I don't think we can shrink. Gather, just automate. You got nothing to do. We have no resources within our borders, so you can just do nothing, okay? Clubman, I don't know, I'm thinking we should probably hang around around here. No, 29 turns. Yeah, see, so we're not going to shrink. I don't know what's up with that shit. It says we're going to shrink, and then we're not going to shrink, and I'm not, I'm confused. Go up here, so you can, st no, well, yes, steal a, steal a gatherer if you can. Those are useful things. Yes, yes, I can see the units. Alright, let's go into the desert here. So in the bug options we have... Uh, resource depletion turned on, which means resources will eventually run out. We also have terrain damage turned on, which means like desert and arctic terrain will both hurt you when you walk on it. So we're about to walk onto some desert next turn. We're going to take some damage. So we'll have to get through there and then heal up after we walk through the desert. That's Cave Bear, and a Sabertooth, and a Dire Wolf. I'm going to go this way. Oh god, desert tiles, don't kill me. Oh my goodness, how are we supposed to get through there? It's just all desert. What the hell? We killed something? Your wanderer to Axum killed a barbarian pheasant. Nice, we killed a pheasant. Now, he doesn't have anybody out to play with. He has a gatherer, but he's in the city, so he's not going to bring him out. Probably because there's fucking barbarian animals nearby. You are hurt. Come over here. That's nice. Outcrop. So this tile has a feature on it called Outcrop, which makes it look like that, rather than just regular dunes. So that's kind of cool. Oh, it says we're going to shrink in two turns. Somehow I doubt it. Alright, we're just going to head out of here. Because that they're not going to bring their gatherer out. Heal up. At least this uh, tile here is an oasis, so we won't get hurt there. But hopefully there's something we can walk onto over there. Because this is all desert. We can't walk around it because there's a mountain in the way. I guess we could go this way. Through Antananananarivo. We might have to. So early on in this mod, early on in this mod, you want to focus on mainly just growing your city. All right, let's see. Oral tradition would probably do want to switch to it. This is a civic change here, and this is why I headed towards oral tradition at the start because it gives you more science, plus five percent science in all cities. So we're going to turn that on, get our two-turn revolution going. 
Let's go check out on Tananama Revo, see if they have another gatherer that we can steal. Okay, you've healed up. Hmm, there's another wanderer over here, but he doesn't seem to have taken any damage from the desert. So he probably has, uh, there's, there's a promotion you can get to not take damage from desert tiles. So he must have that turned on. Oh man, there's salt flats out here. That's even worse than desert. <laughs> it's more desert than desert. It's just salt. That's all there is. Alright, this guy finally finished healing, but he probably can't... No, he still can't kill the cave bear. So, go this way. Is there anything beyond this desert? I see more desert. So at the beginning, we're focusing on buildings that do not uh, have any penalties. Root tubers, they give you one food, and there's no penalty. Seed camp, one food, no penalty. There's other buildings like this, berry bushes, which give you food, but they also give you sickness. So they give you food, but they take away food. So we're not going to deal with that until later. Stick gatherer, should probably put that in there at some point. Knowledge inheritance, it gives you science. We'll definitely want to do that. We'll get this all going. It all comes in time. All right, largest civilizations in the world, like random people I've never met. Perfect. Killed some dudes wander. All right, yeah. Okay, so we can finally leave the desert over here. We'll have to pass through here another time because this is just too deadly. 15% damage per turn. That's hot. That's, that's tough. But up here there's some watermelons and then there's some regular just dirt that we can walk on. No damage over there. Okay, so we finished our root tubers. So we have some food coming into the city now. Let's uh, get a stick gatherer and then uh, let's do knowledge inheritance first. And then we'll throw stick gatherer on top of that. There we go. I'm kind of just going to wander this guy back and forth to see if he can encounter any animals. Because uh, this little zone is going to produce some animals, so we might as well fight them. And the animals up here seem to be too tough, so I'm just going to ignore that area. <laughs> it's got to suck to be that sieve up there. The Aborigines. Alright, you can heal up now that you're not in the desert anymore. You should also heal up, but go stand up here first. Get your 75% bonus. No, he doesn't have another gatherer. Well, he might be over here. What is this, anyway? This is potatoes. Cool. This tile has potatoes. So technically, this is like miniature Ireland over here. Alright, you can heal up now. So stick gatherer gives you one extra production. Always useful. Just stand there and see if any animals come over. <laughs> These poor guys, they have nowhere they can explore. They must be bored out their minds. Alright, you're healed up. Let's head over here. No, nope, still don't see any gatherers. Alright, you're healed up. Good. What's over here? Nothing. Oh, there's another sieve over here. Ah, Sumeria. I can see the purple. Yep.
Alright, you're going to finish the stick gatherer and work on knowledge inheritance. Very good. What's up here? Nothing. Yep, no gatherers. We'll try to steal one over here. Yay, we killed somebody. Crater? It says this tile is crater. That doesn't look like crater, that looks like a whole bunch of rocks. Oh well, it's impassable, whatever. So yeah, the city the city is gonna stay at level one for a long time. But now that we have herbalism we can start uh building those buildings that had penalties because herbalism removes those penalties. Okay, what do we need? Yeah, we can start doing the thief stuff. Don't really want to though. Tide pools would be very good. Let's get that. Get some food. Uh, heal up. You're not gonna attack him. Uh, we'll go this way. Nope, still can't get around that desert, but we might be able to get through. I'll have to see what. Oh, it looks like ocean on the other side. Yeah, there's water on the other side of those mountains. It's a very weird looking continent we're on. Ah, uh, yes, let's uh, get some of these cheap buildings. Sure. I'll get some food going, start getting our city to actually grow. Very important. Looks like maybe more water over there. Yeah, that's water. So he's on the coast here, okay, with a lot of grapes, and more grapes, damn. And it looks like there's more coast over here, so this might be the end of this continent over there. Maybe it extends more this way through the desert, probably. Oh, caribou, let's go kill that guy, or moose, or whatever that is. No, 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 let's go kill him. I have to find that guy. There he is. What is it? It's a moose. We can kill that. 61% chance. Yeah, give it a shot. Nice. Good job. Ooh, goody hut. I see a goody hut. How much I bet we can't get there because there's probably a mountain right here. <laughs> you just can't get that goody. <laughs> it's a fucking goody hut. I want my goody hut. Nope, still no gatherer? And this guy doesn't even have a gatherer. No, he 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 had one at one point because there's a great gathering camp. Well, let's go destroy that. Damn it! Where is that fucking moose going? Oh, we killed it. We killed a barbarian moose. <laughs> just just hold on to that tile for a while. Let's go destroy that seed camp. Oh god, it's a bear. Just heal up. Fucking bears, man. Yo, constructed a wild mushrooms. Good. Oh god, we finally have growth in our city. 1,098 turns and it will grow. Woohoo! <laughs> wow.
destroy the seed camp. Oh, we got eight gold out of that somehow. No food for you. I think I'm just going to fortify right here and see <laughs> see what he does. Just leave my dude in his territory. Alright, you're healed up. Yeah, look at that. We can't get through. There's no way to get through to this side of the continent. There's probably a whole other continent over there, and we can't get through it because there's two mountains blocking the way. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. We're going to have to send this guy down through the desert, I guess. Oh, well. When is our city going to grow? I mean, like, yeah, yeah, volcano, whatever. When is our city going to grow its borders? One turn. Oh, shit. Uh, let's take you off auto. And you as well. Just end your turn. End your turn. I need some military units. As soon as those herbs finish, I need some military units to go stand on these mushrooms and uh, almonds so my gatherers can work those tiles without these motherfuckers being in my way. Who's a badger. Kill the badger. Kill the badger. Ah, oh, we died. Did the badger kill us? Yes, our wanderer was destroyed by a barbarian badger. <laughs> okay, so we got some scavenging. Good. What else do we want? Tool making, probably, but we'll see. Uh, tool making does what? Nut cracking stone, termite mound. Eh, not too thrilled with the termite mound. Probably just get some cooking. And then after that, we can go on to uh, shelter building. Okay, our borders grew this way, which is good. We didn't get the mushrooms, though. How long until we get the mushrooms? 256 turns until we get the mushrooms. Well, goddamn. Uh, just sleep for now, sleep for now. Oh, there's a deer over here. Nice. Sleep. Uh, go this way. I have to go across. I have to go through this desert. I have to see what's down here. It looks like this is water. No, it's not. It's something else. We'll go check it out. It's barren. Perfect. I like barren, sort of. Not really. Permafrost. What the hell? Desert? Permafrost. Desert, permafrost, desert, permafrost, desert, permafrost, desert, permafrost, desert, permafrost. What the fuck is this doing? I guess it's like a glacier? Maybe it's a glacier. That would make perfect sense, but it shouldn't say permafrost if it's a glacier. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. All right, you're done with that. Good. Give me another wanderer, please. Thank you. Uh, go over here. I'll we'll have to head through the salt flats. It's the only other place to go. Oh shit, that fucker's gonna attack us, isn't he? Oh shit, um... Well, we just have to hope that we can defend. Nope, we died. <laughs> I guess we should have run onto that hill over there, but whatever. We got another wanderer coming out anyway. Oh, what's this? Badger and a pheasant. Okay. Can we even see the pheasant? Is that it? That little turkey-looking thing? That's probably it. 
Not sure. Alright, we got our wanderer. Actually, yeah, you can finish the berry bushes. Go go kill these guys. Go kill that pheasant and that badger. There's the pheasant. It sounds like we killed it. We killed the pheasant. Alright. Did we kill the badger? Yes, we killed the badger and the pheasant. Nice. Alright, you can heal up, sir. That was an awesome job. You win. Got some fire. That's nice. Alright, now you're back to Knowledge Inheritance. Um, I think before we do Knowledge Inheritance, I want to get something else going on here. good options. There's no units that we can build that I actually want. Stone thrower is just weak. Fruit is just weak. They're all pretty bad. I uh, get a bug catcher. This fucker's got three wanderers over here and they can't go anywhere. Have to wonder why he keeps building them if he can't really use them. this. A wolverine. Holy shit. This guy killed the Wolverine. I think. Maybe. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. I love fucking with these guys. We're not we're not gonna let their gatherers do anything. Just gonna chill right there. What's this? There's a hawk over here. Cool. Alright, well once cooking is done we can start uh going down the military track. Okay, good. Cave dwelling. Oh yeah, that's right, I already queued up a bunch of shit. That's fine. Still no units that I want. We'll get some eventually. Oh, 
lost something. What died? Our wanderer. Oh god. <laughs> Barbarian Homer Neanderthalensis. Yeah, no good. Those guys are painful. And uh, with this mod, they get experience, and they get stronger, and they can have great generals and everything. And they're just, wow. Most powerful. Well, not us, that's for sure. Out of 16 civs, we're probably the last place right now. Which is fine. It's super early on. And there's another Neanderthal. Oh my god. <laughs> and he goes and hides. Ooh, they have scouts already? Ooh, I want scouts. I really want scouts. Scouts are awesome. What do I need for scouts? Scouts. Scout. Requires tracking. Are we going for tracking? I think we are. Somewhere in here. Uh, no, we're not even close. Okay, well, then go for tracking. And then, after tracking, I want... Where is it what I want? There we go. No, that's a mace. There we go. Okay, so it's 27 texts down the list, and uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. Um, we're defending in the trees. There's an anathalensis right there. Well, let's give it a shot. Come at me, man. What you got? Oh, he didn't attack. We're going to kill this scout. Take that, you little shitty scout. No more scout for you. <laughs> We're finally getting that stone thrower, which I didn't really want. Great. Just chill. Yeah, we need the seed camp. Yeah, we need the storage pit. Uh, bandit's hideout, kind of useful. Kind of, kind of. Tide pool's definitely useful. Uh, actually put that at the top of the list. And we'll probably put that in there anyway. More food. Super important. And since we have cooking, it gets rid of the uh, health penalty for that building. But yeah, I need scouts. I really need to get the scouts quickly. because that's the unit that really lets you fight the uh, animals effectively. A small tribe of friendly locals has granted sanctuary to our beleaguered clubman. Receives one XP. Cool. I don't know what tribe of friendly locals you could be talking about since we're standing next to another Civ's capital, but okay, one XP, I'll take it. So he can upgrade. Cool. Or he can promote, I mean. Probably just give him strength. Just chill. Oh, you're back to that stone thrower. We might even let you finish building at this time. Or not. What's this do? Cave dwelling. Plus 50% defense. Obsolete with ritualism. So that obsoletes really quickly. 
It starts a golden age, though, so you can change your civics if you want. Nah. We'll save that for when we want to change a whole bunch of civics all at once. Oh, this fucker's in my territory. Get out my territory, bitch. It's my territory. Go over here. Just defend that territory. Since that's the only way in or out of our city. From this side, anyway. This guy's got opium. Opium, rabbits, horses. This guy's got everything. And apples. Man, we got, we got shafted. There's nothing in here. We have nothing within our nine tiles. Nothing. God damn it. Whatever. We'll fix it eventually. But yeah, anyway, the first... So we've been through 10,000 years so far, and we haven't really done anything. Like, at all. <laughs> but it's okay. That's typically how it goes in this mod. There's not a whole lot to do until you've progressed a little bit. Because right now, we're really, uh... We're really uncivilized. Once we get shelter building, that'll unlock a whole lot of other stuff we can build. That'll be nice. Fisherman's hut, butchery, healer's hut, tannery, a whole bunch of other ones. Oh, we could do our village hall, but no, that's a little silly. I uh, could probably use the childbirth hut. Still nothing I want to build. At least not people. Can't do lean-tos yet. Why not? Oh, yeah, we can. Do a lean-to. That shit's quick and easy. Get us a little bit more production. We're really closing in on gaining a population here. That'll be nice. And that's a bear. That's not so nice. We're gonna have to do something about this fucking Ainu tribe. All these dudes they have standing on my boat are pissing me off. Okay, we have our lean-tos. A little faster production now. Still nothing I really want to produce. A free fire pit in every sea. That might be useful. I don't know. We'll get around to it someday. Uh, let's move the uh, childbirth hut up above the bandit's hideout. There. Because that'll give us a little more food. Food. Actually, let's move it to the top of the list. The storage pit can wait. Yeah, it's already been 40 minutes and there's like nothing happening. Okay, so now we have hunting instruction, which we definitely want to do. And I'll give a free promotion to all recon units that we train. And we also have Master Hunter building, which we can build once we've captured a proper wild animal. And unfortunately, bear does not count as a proper wild animal. 
a cave bear does, like that cave bear up here. But a regular bear, you, you cannot build Master Hunter with that. For some reason, a regular bear just isn't good enough to build a Master Hunter. So we will want that in 11 turns. And it'll finish in 9 turns. Perfect. What does this need? Storage pit. Alright, we'll get there. So we're going to get a little more food once we build that storage pit as well. That'll be good. Something died. What died? Oh! A clubman. You guys have clubmen. Ooh, you're scary. Come at me, bro. Come on, attack my tribal guardian with your clubman. Do it. Do it, I dare ya. I double dog dare ya. Yeah, you're not gonna do it, you little wuss. It's okay, I don't blame you for being a wuss. I understand. Oh god, another Neanderthal. Oh, another scout. Oh, we can't kill him. Damn. He really wants to attack me. He really does. But he's just a clubman. What's he gonna do? Hunting instruction almost done. Tracking almost done. We can almost build scouts. Almost. All right, we've got a hunting instruction done. Good. And next turn, we can build our first uh, scout. Um, the city, please? Thank you. Yes, nice. Beautiful. Eight turns. Let's just. We'll let one finish, then we'll get another one. As I want to get the food going as well. Hopefully he'll be good at capturing animals and shit. Most culture civilization. Wow, we're number one in culture. High five. Alright, our scout is done. Come this way, dude. Unfortunately, that bear is already dead. Catching up to the leaderboard list here. It's good.
fortify this guy here. There's going to be some animals popping up here. We'll kill them when they show up. Yes, game. I know there are Ainu people on my border. I know. They've been there for about uh, 150 turns or so. And yet you continue to remind me about them every turn. Funny, that. Ooh, fine clay. Nice, we finally have something we can actually work. Finally something for our gatherers to do. Yay! You. Stone Tools Workshop. Yes. Did I kill that wolverine? No? Where'd the wolverine go? Oh, this guy killed it? How did this guy kill it? God damn it, why'd the wolverine attack him instead of me? I don't know why we're building those stone tools workshops. It's kind of pointless. Whatever. Don't really want the bandits hideout right now. I want the uh, rock gatherer for more production. I want that. I want that. And I eventually want the stone tools workshop. Carcass or pelts. All right, we'll get them eventually. I know about those guys. You don't have to keep reminding me. Thank you. I know. I know. I I know. Yeah, I, I, I know. You can just fortify there. What's going on over here? Seriously, nothing has happened over here at all. They still have the two stone throwers and the one scout, and that seems to be their plan. I'm actually going to bring this guy back. I got nothing better to do with him. Come this way. Yeah, um, just keep walking. 
Thank you. Storyteller hut. That's going to give us more beakers. Volcano out in the middle of nowhere. That's nice. There you go. See this? This mountain has stone as a resource. So eventually, be able to uh, use that mountain. Not anytime soon, but that's cool. Damn, this guy is just... Look at this. Opium, horses, rabbits, and also stone. And apples. God damn it. That's crazy. We got nothing so far. Well, we got fine clay. But that requires a special stone workshop, which we are... N oh yeah, we are building special stone workshop. Cool. I was going to say we weren't doing it, but I think we are. Alright, we're getting there. We are teching up slowly. Oh my goodness, look at all that shit we have to go through. Trapping, hunting, basketry, skinning, woodworking, fine edge tools, and yeah, there's so much shit to go through. Oh, Malagasy was the first state to get to population. You can tell because their score just shot up. So that's population two city now for sure. I'm go step on this hill next time, so we can take a look at their city. No, it's still one pop. Well, how did you get a? They jumped like five score in one turn. I thought for sure they had two pot. We can go destroy their potato farm, I guess. Get some money out of it at least. Okay, stone tool maker. That's what I want. Yes, random volcano. Yay, one gold. <laughs> stone tool maker is a very flexible building that gives you hammers and science and gold. And as you tech up, it'll start giving you more and more and more and more hammers and more and more and more science and more and more gold. But as you tech up further, it starts giving you less hammers, less science, and less gold until eventually it gives you nothing. I've even had it give me negative hammers at one point, but I think that was just a little bug. But the idea is they become more and more useful, and then as you start getting better tools, they become less and less useful. So I think that's a very nice item. Got rid of his trails. No happy trails for you. There's a wolverine over there. Oops, I hit the mic, sorry. Volcano. Whatever. It's nowhere near me, I don't care. An unexplored island has been destroyed. Okay. Well, we just killed something. Oh, Tribal Guardian killed a club and he attacked me. <laughs> really? Oh, they used two clubmen to attack. Yeah. Well, at least you tried. And yeah, we can train clubmen too. Cool. Oh, we can also do our uh, creation myth. Uh, da, da, da. Requires stone or marble or flint or obsidian. Yeah, well. We'll get one of those eventually. Yeah. 
keep coming home. Yeah, since they're attacking, we're definitely going to use this clubman to defend. And that'll be useful. Until we can pacify the Ainu. You know. Ooh, getting real close to population 2. Piercing, cool. Each of these techs is very minor, but uh, they add a plus one hammer to the stone tool maker. If we mouse over, you can see all the effects. It says plus one with um, lead working, composite tools, flint napping, microlith, fine edge tools, metal casting. There's so many different effects you get from different uh, techs on that building. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, hold on a sec. All right, I'm back. Let's keep going. Okay, so he, we now have fine clay, and we have stone tools, I think. Oh, well, we have stone tool workshop, and we have fine clay. So that's pretty cool. But then we need to hook it up with... Uh, uh, a trail. So we're going to need another gatherer here. Let's slide it in before the creation myth. There. Alright, Clubman, come home. Oh, did he get automatically upgraded? Yeah, he did. Our clubman turned into a spiked clubman, which has a plus one strength. So that's cool. Good thing we brought him home. Still nothing for our scout to kill? Really? I don't see nothing. I guess we'll wander him up here, see if we can find those cave bears and shit. Oh, yeah, there's the <laughs> cave lion, moon bear, and saber tooth. Holy shit. Let me fortify here and see if that uh, dire wolf will attack because he has two movement. No, he didn't attack. I think they might be stuck on that tile or something. Let's try going around. Stone thrower, stone thrower, gatherer, clubman. So now he's defending his gatherer with three units. I guess it makes sense. I mean, we stole one from him earlier. Oh, no, we didn't. He had retreated it into the city. Well, we're probably going to get slaughtered here, but we'll see. No, they didn't attack for some reason. And their culture just expanded. Weird. Alright, gather is done. Let's uh, build a route to here. Let's see if we can't kill it. What is this, a water buffalo? Musk ox, yeah. Ooh, marble. 
Ooh, I want that marble. Attack me, musk ox. Musk ox. Yeah. Like that. Oh my god, it's a mammoth. Six strength. Oh my god. Um. Run away. And then heal up. <laughs> yeah, mammoth out of nowhere. Scary shit. How are we doing in our capital, anyway? We're almost healthy. That's really important. We're also almost unhappy. <laughs> uh, we don't have any happiness buildings, unfortunately. So that's going to have to do. Got a whole bunch of hammers coming out of this tile. That's nice. And we lost our scout to what? Aboriginal clubman. Damn it. I really like that scout. Let's build another scout. Let's build two. Then we'll get some spike clubbing. Okay, got a little more science coming out now. Oh god, it's an Neanderthal. Yep, run inside. <laughs> <laughs> Go away, Neanderthal. You're not welcome here. Go away. Hopefully he'll attack those guys or something. Okay, we got another scout. Let's take our scout. And, uh... Yeah, I guess. Oh god, fuck you, Neanderthal. I'm gonna defend him with the scout. The Neanderthal, the Neanderthal just killed that scout over there. Getting real close to getting bigger. Okay, we have another scout. There's no buildings we, we can build that I want. I would love to get a dining hall, a slaughterhouse, a stoneworker's hut. We don't have the right tiles in our area to actually do that. So let's go on the offensive with some clubmen. You come up here. And just defend our gatherer while he does his thing and builds that path. So we can link up these resources. Oh yeah, we're going to get attacked here. Come on, win. Win, Mr. Scout. Yes! Good lad. Good lad. And he upgraded. Um, just, yeah. More strength is good. And if we can get him to upgrade again, we can get him the uh, takes no damage from desert promotion. Then we can head him this way without him taking any damage. That'll be really nice. Just go on exploring.
Congratulations, you've trained your first melee unit. That's nice. Just gonna have a couple defensive guys here while we build more units. Alright, now they're size two. You're still size one, size one, size one. So the only one who's size two so far is Malagasy. Probably because they have these fucking potatoes. <laughs> Extra food. We'll be there in a few turns though. Okay, so we linked up this tile. Now he's heading over here to link up the fine clay. Someone just built a world wonder. What was it? Culture Neanderthal. Great. And someone now has a religion. Uh, if you train Neanderthal culture, you can actually build Neanderthal units, which is amazing because they're freaking awesome at the start of the game. And now that we have this tile protected, we could bring our gather over here and actually use the tile. What are you? Wander. All right, yeah. Sometimes mouse over doesn't do anything. Not sure why. Keep building the damn path. There's two aboriginal clubmen over here. Actually, yeah, let's move the scout up here. We can help defend. Two aboriginal clubmen. Uh, I'm not sure what you're up to. We're actually going to be the last guy to get to uh, two population, which is fine. It's not that critical to get there super early. It helps. Keep building the path, damn it. Yes, I know there's a wanderer there. I don't care. Keep building the damn path. There we go, two pop. Awesome. What tiles are you working? That one and that one. Okay. Uh, still can't really train any good units. Just the Spike Clubman. Alright, that's what we'll keep doing then. We're still in last place in score. Ah, well.
What is going on with my headset? Oh. <laughs> That's silly of me. Couldn't figure out what was making a clunking sound on my headset. I figured it out, though. Alright, so this, this next clubman here now brings us even strength with the Ainu tribe, which means we have as many units as they do. The only difference is their units, they have three scouts, whereas we have two. Oh, what are you doing, you stupid clubman? Stay away from me. This guy's got two clubmen right next to me now. What are you doing? Yes, yeah, some random volcano somewhere, whatever. Keep building the damn path. And you... Let's go here. Keep building the damn path, please. Most powerful. Well, we're not in the list of most powerful. That's to be expected. Ah, we can train wood spearmen. Nice. And the Aborigine is going to start training some uh, boomerang dudes. It's kind of cool. I've never seen the boomerang units in this game. I'm sure they're awesome in all sorts of ways. There's the Spearman. Nothing amazing about them, so we're just going to ignore it. doesn't really do anything for us. A bonus for his mounted units. 29,860 BC is probably not the best bonus. It's not bad, it's just not super useful. What are you doing, Clubman? Get away from my tiles. No. Go up there. You finished with that path? Yes, you finished the trail path. Good. Now you should come over here and do this. He wants to attack my city with two clubmen. Really? You gotta be joking. Now he's wandering away. What are you doing, crazy man? Everyone size two? No, this poor guy is still size one. Probably because we destroyed his seed farm. <laughs> I don't think six units is enough 
probably want more like 10. He's going to attack me again. You know, I'll put one scout in the city just in case you attack. I don't think you'll attack because you're not that stupid, are you? No, he is that stupid. <laughs> he just attacked. Oh, they attacked this guy on the hill. They both died to him. <laughs> Whatever. That was the Aborigines, and they still have a larger uh, military than we do. Oh, they have trackers already? God damn it. Bastards. They still have a larger military than we do, so I guess those units were expendable. You have trained a spiked clubman and axman, or an axum. Work has begun on a spiked clubman. Not so brave anymore, are you, Ainu? Attacking my capital with two clubmen. You're crazy. Okay. Still can't build anything amazing. Spearman doesn't really get us anything at all. <laughs> just keep giving me more spike club. I don't care if they take six turns each, just give me more. Can we do the rope gatherer? Do we have the right stuff? No. We need cloth or leather, which we do not have. Damn it. Six, we have nine. When we get ten, I'll give it a shot. It may not be enough guys, though. Ah, oh, yes, some random volcano somewhere on the map that I can't see. Thank you. Oh, he's got clubmen over here. Oh, look at that, 96% chance. Yeah, we'll take that chance. So in his capital, he has two clubmen, two stone throwers, a scout, and a guardian. So he has six defenders. Hmm. Keep building that path. actually have a pretty good chance of killing that scout, and it'd probably be better to kill him now rather than wait for him to get back into the city. 
Yeah. Alright, so let's start surrounding him. Oh, he attacked us? That's smart. Yeah, he attacked us. Now he only has five defenders. Keep building the damn path. Yeah, no chance of killing that thing. Tribal Guardian, 200% defense bonus, yeah. But... He has another scout down there. Okay. Probably pull him back into the city, though. All right, you got a bonus. Just uh, what kind of terrain is this? Grassland. Just get a strength bonus. And uh, heal up there. Got more units building. The scouts can't attack, so... Oh, we got a culture boost. Wow, that's a big culture we have now. And notice it spread out this far before it even took this tile, because it was easier to spread around the hill rather than going over the hill. I like that. Realistic culture spread is pretty sweet. He took a scout out of the city. You gotta be kidding me. He took... He took two scouts out of the city and just left them out there. Oh, that is that is tempting to just attack. Because we could probably get away with throwing away about five units and still take the city. Chances are pretty shit, but the chances will go up as that guardian takes damage. Ooh, that's tempting. I have one, two, three, four, five, six units at full health, and then two hurt units. No, it's not enough units. I need more. Can we kill him? Yes, but then we might take a whole lot of damage. Let's take the stack. What? God damn it, we lost a fucking spike clubman on a scout. Alright, it's fine. It hits fine. Now we surround him even better. You guys are still healing. Yeah, just chill. And of course he trained another clubman in that time. Building that damn path, stupid worker, or gather, or whatever you are. Takes a break every five seconds. Oh, I'm tired. I don't care if you're tired. Keep shoveling that path. Oh, they killed something else. What'd they kill? Gather was destroyed by a thief. God damn it. We don't have trained dogs, do we? And no, we can't even make trained dogs. Damn it, so we can't see their thieves. That sucks. They just killed our gatherer here. Oh well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six full health and two damaged. No. We'll wait for a few more. No point attacking this guy, because he'll disappear when we take the city. Why is his face all yellow? 
This guy looks pretty normal. This guy looks like a shriveled up, rotting something. 4.5%. No, we'll wait. Take the damaged one out. He'll heal up faster in my territory than he will in his. Stupid thief. They only have like two hit points, but uh, that was enough to kill my gatherer, because gatherers have no hit points. That tribal garden is going to be the only problem. It's the rest of them that don't get any defensive bonuses. Except that stone thrower, but strength of one with a defensive bonus doesn't really scare me. Alright, I think most of my guys are full health now. Yeah, it looks like it. And he took another scout out to the side here, for some reason. So instead of building another defensive unit, he built another scout. That doesn't make any sense. That's a poor choice by the AI there. <laughs> it's like, hey, we're being surrounded, and we're probably going to die next turn. Let's build a scout. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a shot. Who's got our attacking bonus? You do. Alright, 11% chance. Well, it's better than nothing. At the worst, we're going to hurt him. Alright, we died. Did we hurt him? Yeah, he's down to 0 0.1 hit points. Now we're talking. Now we're going to slaughter these guys because we're surrounding them. There we go. Goodbye, Ainu tribe. I hated you, and you were a pain in the ass, and after an hour and a half, you're dead. So, thanks for playing. Hope you enjoyed uh, our time together in this campaign, but uh, your time is over, and my time is now. So, how about we get some native culture going, and then a uh, rock gatherer would be good, herbs would be good. Still don't have any rope. Let's get some science in there. More science. Actually, put the this one there. And those two scouts disappeared, so that's why I didn't attack them down there. All right, you guys can go home. There's a badger over here. Let's try to kill that badger. Attack me, badger. Attack me. All right, so that's one sieve down. And we have a small army here. Uh, the Ainu have about the same size army as we do. But since they're our closest neighbors, we're probably going to go for them next anyway. Oh, we should probably stop building Spike Clubmen. <laughs> we're actually losing money now because we have so many of them. Plus 25 towards bone working. Cool. Aw, oh, the fucker didn't attack me. Uh, yeah, just heal up. You're gonna stay in that city. Heal up. Heal up. Oh, you got a bonus. You got a promotion. And then heal up. And everybody else is moving. Good. That worked out really well. We had that one spiked clubman with the strength bonus. 
and he hurt that tribal guardian enough to make that city capture pretty easy. Alright, you're done with Spike Clubman for now. Seriously, that's a lot. Let's do some uh, money and then uh, some trails so we can link up our two cities and then I'll think about doing a village hall. It's not super necessary, but Slingers might be good because you get a city defense bonus. Actually, yeah, that's a really good idea. Let's build two of those. Three, actually. And then we can use our Slingers for defense and put all of our Spike Clubmen on offense and try to go take this city. It'd be harder, though, because they have a bigger army. Uh, I'm actually going to set my scouts on uh, hunting duty. Their their job is pretty much done. For like you know what they were doing, which is defending our territory, they're done with that. We have we have spiked clubman now. Why can I not use you normally? The, the extended options are not there. What the hell? There you go. You have extended options. Where's yours? You don't get any extended options. What the shit? I don't know. You're supposed to have other options in there, like hunting, which I wanted to turn on. Ooh, there's a bunch of dyes over here. We'll have to settle a city on there somewhere. Where's all your extended options? I don't know. Maybe if I fortify and then wake you up, it'll work? I don't know. See, this guy's got extended options. So does this guy. And this guy does not. Here, just chill. I'll check you out next turn. There's a platypus over here. It's hiding in the bushes, but I see him. Silly platypus. What is wrong with this unit there? Try ending the turn like that. Maybe that'll do it. No? Still no options for hunting. Well, just explore then. Oh, that's why he can't hunt. It's a scout. Scouts have no attack ability, so all they can do is defend. So of course they all they can do is explore. They can't hunt. Gonna get our army on this peak over here, on this hilltop. Then we'll go into surround and destroy mode. Probably need some money over here pretty soon. Sand pit. And then the storyteller's hut. Anything else give money? No. We're running out of money, though. It's because we have so many freaking military units. Stone throwers. Yeah, that's, that's not the best defense, dude. Nice to know you're trying, though. Hey, we're number one in score now. Look at that. I 
Actually, let's take half of you and go forward. Now we can see in the city, he has three defenders. Wow. His army is almost the same size as ours, and he only has three defenders. That's amazing. Well, he might have a second city somewhere, although I doubt it. I doubt it. Not with a score of 52. Wow, we're losing money quickly. Like, really quickly. What is changing so much that we're losing money? We haven't built any new units in a while. City maintenance is four. Number of cities. That's probably it. Is that all I have? Is nine clubmen left? I thought I had like 12 of them. And I, I know I only lost one. Shit. Well, that sucks. Let's not waste any time then. Let's go in for the kill. Oh, he has two more guys. So he's going to have five defenders in the city. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem if we surround him. Most cultured. Hey, we're number two, or number three. Something like that. One of those numbers is correct. And this tile is unfortunately permafrost, so we're going to take damage if we stand on it. So, probably just not going to stand on it. <laughs> just avoid it. Alright, so we have him completely surrounded. No good chance of attacking. 5.4, 4.7, 3.9. Well, yeah, we'll wait till next turn. Because then this guy can attack as well. Alright, let's give it a shot. Did we hurt him? No, we didn't even hurt him. That's a problem. Have to hurt him. Or else we're not going to be able to take it. Okay, now he's hurt. We're in good shape now. Yep. Yep. Now we're talking. Once you hurt that guardian, the rest of it just falls like a house of cards. Nice. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. You already have a rock gatherer. Excellent. You need stone tools. Not sure if we're going to wait that long, though. Yeah, I guess we can. Let's do it before the culture, though. Stone tool maker is just so important. Do you have stone tools yet? Yes, you do. Oh, you're unhappy now. Why are you unhappy? Overexpansion. Oh. We must have really bad civics. <laughs> if we can't expand into three cities. Chiefdom, let's see. Yeah, settling more than two cities will cause four unhappiness. Okay. So... Selling more than six cities. So we need to get the chiefdom now. I should probably change it right away rather than waiting. Because we need that happiness or else people won't work the tiles. 
Kind of important. Okay, where are we? We're on trapping. All right, go ahead and finish that since it's almost done. And then I need chiefdom, which is where? Adhesives, axe making, spear making, spear fishing, warfare. There's tribalism. That's not chiefdom, though. I must have been missing it somewhere. Must have looked right past it. Microlith, tattoos, druidism, counting, poison crafting, hunting, trapping, ritualism. I gotta be missing it somewhere. Let me look it up really quick here. Requires what? Requires chiefdom. Well, I didn't see chiefdom the technology. It's in here somewhere. Because that will let that will allow us to conquer all of our neighbors. So it's kind of important to get chiefdom. There it is. Oh my goodness, that is way out of the way. But we have to, or else we're going to keep having unhappiness. Oh well, unhappiness is not the end of the world. It just sucks. <laughs> uh, we also need to fix our economy pretty quickly here. You guys don't need to be there anymore. Let's go protect. You know what? What we should do is we should protect this little area. These, these four tiles, I guess. These four. Because this is the only way that uh, enemies can get into our lands. So let's protect those four tiles. Come over here. Revolutions in the air, that's not good. It's improving, that's important. Alright, we're fine. You can just stay in the city for now. Come over here. Alright, we discovered fur. Up there, and down here. Good. So uh, we should get some, whatchamacallits, gatherers over there. So forget the slingers for now. Get some more gatherers, because that will help our economy, linking up all that shit. Okay, you're healthy. Go stand here. You as well. Fortify on that tile. You come to this tile. You should be able to block all this off pretty easily. Fortify. Wow, negative nine gold per turn. That's not good. Uh, come down here. We're going to run out of money super quick. What happens if we turn off our science? We're still losing money. Okay. Well, we can't turn off the science because we need the science, or we're never going to get rid of the unhappiness. All right, negative seven. That's not as bad. Let's send the slinger down here. We can bring this dude up to the front. You just fortify on that tile. Citizen's growing restless. What's up? The city of Axum is asking for independence. <laughs> the citizens feel that your empire is not meeting their needs and wish to strike out on their own and form Congo. Yeah, I don't think so. 
How about you go away? Congo. Oh my god, it's getting worse. Super bad. Wow, the unhappiness is causing it. Okay. Well, what's causing the unhappiness? It's too crowded. You refused our request. We hate our government. Our inept government's attempts to overexpand are making us unhappy. It's mostly just the overexpansion. Do we have any happiness buildings we can build to shut these people up? Probably not. No, not a single building will make them happy. Okay. Well, I can't let our capital revolt. That would just be terrible. We're actually going to have to bring our army back, which sucks. Because this place is definitely going to revolt, and we're just going to have to recapture it. What a pain. What a pain. Still worsening. I guess I should have checked my civics before we conquered that third city. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need economy. Let's get our science going. And some economy. Trails. The rest of it doesn't matter. You're still working. Economy. Science. Economy. Science. Economy. Economy. No, I don't need the food. It seems like it's not getting bad as fast as it was previously, but it's still bad. <laughs> we gotta get rid of that unhappiness, but we have no buildings that'll get rid of unhappiness. A uh, tattoo hut, I think, will get rid of some unhappiness if we build them. Okay, our slinger arrived down here, so let's get our club man up here. Slinger, you're my new city guardian. Hey, upgrade. There you go. Yeah, it's still okay. You're fine, pretty much. You're fine. So this one's our best city right now, because it's not revolting. It's not even close to revolting. The other two, <laughs> not so good. All right, all you dudes, just chill, heal up. OK. Yes, Tattoo Hut will give us one happiness, so we definitely need to build those right away. Requires Storage Pit. Requires Die or Bone. We don't have Die or Bone, do we? No. Hmm. This one provides Bone, but for that we need Pelts or Ivory. Pelts we can get from these things. No, that's fur. No, I think we can get pelts from it too. So here's where we have to get our economy going or we're going to be stuck. All right. 
still make it work, these gatherers are going to start linking up all these resources for us, which should, some of these resources are going to be luxury resources, so they'll increase happiness. They'll also, these gatherers will also build trails to all of our cities to increase our economy. Oh. Your advisors are neutral on these terms. City of Axum is demanding change in leadership. Armies are gathering. Oh, what do they want? This is true. Isn't like all good despots, blah, 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 blah. You could meet the challenge with force, and your cities would rise up as Congo to fight. Your troops in these cities would be surrounded by a hostile population and may take heavy losses or even defect. There is no glory in surrendering to the will of the people, but it would preserve all that you have built. Honoring their request would bring only a temporary end to your rule, as there is every reason to believe your heirs will regain power in the future. Selassie I could not possibly be half the ruler you are. If you take this option, your civil will be automated for some turns, and then peacefully turn to your control. That's interesting. That actually sounds really cool. So yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Demanding a change in leadership. I'm really gonna, uh, not cede power to Selassie the first, and then you take that, your civ will be automated for a number of turns, then peacefully return to your control. Let's do that. Ha! <laughs> 134 turns. What? <laughs> 134 turns. A hundred and thirty-four turns. I wonder what they're going to do in that time. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is hilarious. Well, they got the economy back on track. That's nice. Oh, they did it by lowering our science output. Eh. I'd rather keep science at 100%. I can't see what's going on. I can't move the screen or anything. So, yeah. Your spike club and die try and attack a tribal guardian. Well, that's one way to fix the economy. Just kill off the military. <laughs> Spike club and killed a mammoth. Nice. This is really weird. Looks like the gatherers down there are linking up the stone right now. Someone just built the world wonder. No idea what it was. 134 turns of this bullshit. <laughs> At least they're ending quickly. We don't have to do anything. Looks like they're encountering more mammoths up there. Yep, they killed another mammoth. Cool. Citizens are growing restless. City of Axum is calling for a change in leadership. Again? Oh. Demand that you cede power to Zara Yakov. Well, that's who... I'm so confused. <laughs> I thought I was Zara Yakub. When I started the civilization, I was Zara Yakub. <laughs> this is so weird. Sure. Whatever. I'm not sure what's going on anymore. It's hilarious.
they're doing rabbit traps down here. That's cool. Bone Worker's Hut. Ooh, where's that? Pichanjara. Alright, so we're going to have bone now, so that means we're going to be able to do the... Uh, oh, another Bone Worker's Hut. Good. So as they link up all this shit, we're able to build more stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Someone has a great general. That's nice. That's right, and then the Bone Worker's Hut allows you to build bone huts. So you're building huts out of bone, which gives you more production. That's nice. And they're just doing this automatically. That's cool. I don't have to do shit. Stoneworker's Hut. Nice. That's a lot more production. Oh, that's right, because they have stone right next door. Yes. Good, good, good. Oh. Seed power again? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> this is so weird. I've never seen this before, where the game just plays itself. You don't have to do shit. Bark gatherer. Yeah, and then bark huts. Yeah, more production. They got the economy back on track. Look at that. They're back up to 100 science, and they have economy is improving now. This is good. The borders of Ishikari have grown. That's nice. Looks like they have some trails going all the way from the capital to Ishikari now. That's cool. They still haven't got rid of the unhappiness, though. <laughs> You would think that would be important, you know, getting rid of the unhappiness. But apparently they don't value it very highly. Axe making. Look at this. <laughs> That's what I wanted a long, long time ago. Because I thought, hey, axes would make getting rid of the Ainu really easy. And then I, we got Spike Clubman. I'm like, oh, well, that makes it easy, too. <laughs> Why wait for axes? <laughs> stone quarry? Yeah, it's going to be a long time. 32 turns for a stone quarry down there. Damn. Deer hunter camp? Okay. I wish I could see what's going on in the third city up there. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Get that happiness going.
Hunter's Camp. This really is odd. Oh, again? Oh, now they want to strike out and form Congo. No. Let's pay them 32 go. No. No. Oh, we have control again. Alright, good, finally. Fuck's sake, that was a long time of not having control. We're at turn 397 already. Alright, where's our military? Do we have a military? We have two stone axemen. And a scout. That's it? Wow. So he suicided our entire stack of spiked clubmen trying to take Antananarivo, as if that would help our happiness somehow. Yeah. Take another city. That'll help our happiness. You're unhappy. How's the happiness down here? It's fine. Just like before. Oh, you have dyes up here. Nice. Are they hooked up? No, they're not hooked up. We need a plantation. Hmm. Research calendar. Well, where's calendar? That's got to be way down the list of things, huh? Uh, let's go for some silly happiness stuff. Oh, we already are. Okay, prehistoric dance. Yeah, let's get these quickly. Because these are both happiness. Divine cult. Elder council would be good as well. Let's get those. Those are straight up happiness. There's no reason not to do them. And this is happiness as well. Canine domestication. I believe that gives happiness as well. So, get all these just things that we avoided early on that we probably shouldn't have avoided. Let's get some culture. Money's always good. That's fine. Yep. Yep. All these things are good. Yes. All of the things. Except the bandits hide out. I don't want that. You might want to do something a little easier than the stone quarry, dude. I mean, stone quarry is nice, but uh, let's go for that and that and that and that and that. Uh, trails are good. Put that at the end, that and that at the end. This first. And that can go at the end. Well, it sucks that our military has dwindled down to one, two, three, four units. We have four units. That's our military and a scout. But whatever. At least we have control of our sieve again. Wealthiest sieves. Not us. Not us at all. This guy's about to die. Our scout. Because <laughs> he's not healing up. Dude. 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 Go here next turn, okay? And heal up. Thank you. You build the music buildings so that we... Uh, can get some happiness. Okay? Finish up knowledge inheritance and then I'll switch you over. Hunting instruction can wait to get the happiness buildings. How unhappy are you? You're pretty fucking unhappy. What about you? How unhappy are you? 
four unhappy. And you? Three unhappy. All right, so it's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. This will help, though. The music and the dance will both help. Revolution is brewing. Demanding change in leadership. Your advisors are neutral. No, I've had enough of these changes in leadership. Okay, see, now it's a problem. Now I don't have any units to take back my city when they revolt. It says it's safe. What are you talking about revolt? Dude, go over here. Wait, is that a clubman? Shit. You are so going to die, Mr. Scout. 0 0.1 hit points. If you can, try to go over there, but you're going to die. Okay, you finished that. That's nice. That's good. Now get the happiness buildings. Like that. Hopefully it won't revolt. Hopefully it won't revolt. Can you not move? Are you stuck? Oh, he can't move. Alright, just heal up. Whatever. Might need the slinger over here. Huh? The Congolese rebels of Axum have risen up against you in revolution. The Congolese civilization has been destroyed. Huh? I don't quite get what happened. I guess they had a revolt and we killed them all? I guess? Whatever. Can you kill this guy, please? You can actually go back to defending, because apparently there's not going to be a revolt. You can just chill on that hilltop. Did we lose our scout? Yeah, he died. He died of the desert. The desert killed him. Alright, so we're back in power again, and it looks like we're safe from revolution, sort of, maybe? I think. Prehistoric dance for the win. Yep, dance hut. We'll get some more happiness out of that. Instrument maker. Animal hide tents. That was an interesting set of events that happened there. Music hut. Good. Get some happiness. And, uh, you know what? Let's uh, slap this up there first, and we'll take this out, and then we'll put it back on, and we'll put that on top. Actually, no. Let's put the dance hut on the bottom, and then this, and then this, because the music hut gets a plus one happiness from each instrument. So we'll build that, and then we'll get the instrument. That'll be a plus two happiness, and then plus three happiness. That should help out a lot. You the same. You're doing that first for some reason, because you're a numpty. There. There. Dumbass. There. Okay, everyone's doing things good now. Alright, we subdued a platypus. That same platypus has been there for like 5 million years. We finally subdued it. So now that we have a subdued platypus, we can finally do something with it. Namely, we're going to bring it to our capital.
Revolution's in the air. Safe. Flat. We're fine. What are you talking about? We're fine. Folklore. Alright, let's take a look if we can change anything to better civics now. That'd be nice. No, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do nothing. Here we go. Uh, plus one happiness from Sage's Hut. See, that's what I'm talking about. Plus one happiness. Yes. It's only two turn revolution. Not that bad. Everything else is fine. Let's go. And that'll allow us to build a Sage's Hut, which is another building for happiness. So, of course, we're going to build it. Revolution's brewing. I don't think so. Reject those terms. Alright, let's start bringing our units down again, just in case they revolt. Just in case. Hopefully they won't. The Congolese rebels of Axum have risen up against you in revolution. While defending, your tribal guardian killed a Congolese stone axeman. Interesting. Alright, so we have a platypus in our capital. And we can do a couple things with it. We can do the myth of birds, because apparently a platypus is a bird. Or we can do the myth of fish, because a platypus is also a fish. A platypus is pretty much everything, according to this game. But we're going to do the myth of birds, because that gives us plus one science. Sounds good to me. Alright, you guys can go home. The rebellion's over. It was very short-lived. Might as well go put this guy in the capital. Might help with happiness a little bit. It's not that bad. It says safe. I'm not too worried about it, really. What's this? Two scouts. I thought they might be bringing an army over, but no, two scouts is not really an army. Matriarchy. No. We might do patriarchy, though. These are two of the new civics they just added. Let me take a look. So right now we have strongman, which is minus 30% war unhappiness, uh, plus 20% maintenance costs, minus 5%... Uh, gold from each city. This one gives you more production, less gold, less maintenance cost. This one reduces maintenance cost quite a bit. You don't get any production bonus, but cities require less food to grow. Actually, that's not bad. Let's go matriarchy. Oh, four turns. Eh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll get rid of the anarchy in a second. Hold on. We're almost done with that dance set anyway. Revolution is brewing. No. <laughs> Our slinger just got a, a promotion because he defended in that in that revolution. These revolutions are pretty wimpy so far.
All right, we're back in power again. And now these auto auto ending turns are going by pretty quick. I like that. Okay, we got a music hut that's going to improve our happiness in the capital. Okay, worsening up here. That's not good. Let's see if we can improve that. No, it looks okay. It's not that bad. Happiness. We're working on the happiness. Just hang in there, bro. Game, game fields will also improve happiness. So we're just going through a whole, a whole spree of uh, technology training specifically for happiness. No. Yeah, whatever. We need to get another defender down here. One slinger is not enough. Yeah, we lost. All right, what do they have? A scout and probably something else. All right, Mr. Axman, heal up and then we'll take you out. Come take this back, hopefully. Fucking hell. Hopefully we can take it back. Slinger and a general. Yeah, we can probably kill a slinger. What? Twenty percent chance of killing this guy. Well, Our capital's not, at least we're not unhappy anymore, because we lost the only city that mattered. We lost the city that was causing us excess unhappiness. Hmm. Well, let's get some fucking macemen. Come on down there and take it back. Fucking hell, man. Oh, now we're back to unhappy. Great. this bullshit again. What happened now? I'm just going to bribe the city so they'll leave us alone for a bit. I'm sick of this bullshit.
good. Microlith probably be good. Yeah. So he has one defender. It's that same slinger from before. Wow, I can't even kill a spiked clubman? Really? Whatever, just fortify over there. Oh, it's because he has a bonus against melee units. And I think he just killed my... my whatever this guy is, a maceman. Yep. Where's our spiked clubman? We can no longer build spiked clubman. Well, that's a problem. Whatever, stone macemen are fine. Someone built Ainu culture. Oh, it wasn't these guys. <laughs> the really shitty part is I think we lost all of our buildings from that city. So we had a ton of buildings we had in there and then we lost them all. Pretty sure. Uh, let's keep going for chiefdom. Kind of important to get. Tribal, at Lottle. Must be missing it again. It's somewhere around here, isn't it? Chief uh, Dome, bingo. Go for it, baby. No, go with this tile. Damn it! Yeah, I wanted that tile because it's a fucking forest. And of course, he went this way instead. Whatever. Did he just attack me again? Yes, he did. He attacked me again. Well, he just threw away two units. That's nice. He has nobody in his city. <laughs> really? And I get the feeling, since it's a level 1, if I walk in, I'm going to destroy it. God, that would suck. I'm going to have to do it, though. I can't just leave him sitting here. Oh, no, we just took it back over. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Did we lose all our buildings? No, we did not. Oh, okay. 
Not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, you do need happiness buildings, though. So let's get that shit done. And let's put a second maceman in there. Let's put two defensive units in each city in case we get more revolts. I don't know why they took all of their military units out of the city, but they did. Oh god, that's a mammoth. Okay, you're doing gold buildings now. What else can you do? Do that. Yeah, science is good. Uh, I think we'll do more production instead. Because we can get science a little later and it won't hurt us that bad. Counting sticks. Tally stone. And then we'll get our science. And then we'll get our money, our food. Yep. Uh, yeah, might as well. Might as well. Might as well. Alright. And we could start doing public stoning, which will improve stability, but it also gives you unhappiness. So let's get. I want to fix the unhappiness before we start doing uh, public stoning. Although that is a very nice option. I like that they have... I don't like that they have public stoning. I like that they have buildings which improve stability. And they have big penalties like unhappiness. But they do improve stability. We have prime timber here, that's nice. Ooh, it's an orca. Is that a stone maceman? Yes, it is. I believe he wants to attack me. Well, let's fortify on this hill. See if he actually wants to attack. No, he didn't want to attack. He just wanted to be a douche. Well, let's try to defend our land if we can. Because I assume he's coming to just be a dick. That's usually what the AI does. It's like, I'm going to go plunder this and pillage that. Sounds like he attacked us, though, so he's dead. Yep. Didn't even get that hurt from it.
text we can do in the meantime to get us some more happy. Because I would like some happy. Sage's hut. Yeah. That'll give us happy. Let's do it. Only one happy, but it's fine. And then some of the other instruments would be good as well. Oh, there's some happy. Teepees would be good as well. Alright, so all of our macemen are done. Just fortify in the capital. Get back to making happy buildings. Now you're almost you're almost happy. Quit whining. Yes, yes, whatever. It's it's mostly safe. It's not perfectly safe, but it's mostly safe, I think. Nope. Revolt if you want. Revolt if you want. I got two defenders in every city, you little shit. Give it a try. Yeah, we killed you. We killed you, stupid rebels. Oh, god damn it. Powerful hurricane has made a direct hit. Damn it. Hey, tribal guardian. What? Our tribal guardian can level up? News to me. Your tide pools has been destroyed. Ah, that's not a big deal. We lost a little food. I don't really care about tide pools, to be honest. Okay. Tally stones. We could do tide pools again. It doesn't give you any happiness, though, so I'm not too concerned. Carpenter's workshop probably be good. Bamboo grove, village hall. All these would be good. That doesn't do any happiness. No happiness. No happiness. Okay, sewing is done. Let's get the happiness out of that. There it is. 13 turns. That's fine. You're doing a dance hut. We'll get rid of this shit. Do you the happiness building next? Actually, do that next. Then anything else that's cheap happiness building. There you go. Although that is minus one hammer. How many hammers do you have? Thirteen. Uh, I guess it's kind of worth it. We'll get more hammers later on. Like, if we build these, we'll get one hammer out of each. What else gives us happy? Happy. Yeah, let's do that first. Because that's a free happy with no penalty to hammers. There's a happy. There's a happy. We're okay. That orca is just chilling out there. Oh, there's another orca over here. Goddamn. Wow, that uh, revolt, that successful revolt in uh, Ishikari has really slowed down its population growth.
God damn. We're going to have to build some gatherers soon so we can keep accessing this shit. Because I don't think we have any gatherers left alive. They all got killed. Revolutions brewing. I don't think so. All right, let's go back to happy. Happy, 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 happy. Bead making. No, that's not happy. No. Of course, spear making is not going to be happy. No. Although, oh, we already have that. TPs might be good. 19 turns, though. No. I need something faster than that. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, they're going to try attacking me again. Good luck, man. I have connected up Dai. Very nice. And these two cities are now happy. Because Dai is a luxury resource, and luxury resources give you happiness. There we go. Plus one happy. Very, very cool. And we'll also get more happy as we build more stuff. Because Dai interacts with other buildings. And I believe we can now do our tattoo parlor. Yes, we can. Wow, you're building a ton of shit here. Whatever. We, we need all of this shit eventually. I'm just trying to figure out an order that'll... Actually, we don't need the happiness, do we? Well, we sort of do. <laughs> do you have dies? Yes, so your happiness is almost there. So they're going to stop the revolting thing soon enough. Hopefully. Actually, I think I can forgo the tattoo hut for now. We're, we're decently happy. Let's work on uh, this stuff. Do all that for now. This guy needs all this shit. Lots of stuff to be built. I think after the seamstress hut finishes, we should be happy in Axum. Yep, we will be. The unhealthy, I'm not too worried about. We're still going to grow, even if we're unhealthy. But the happiness, we really have to keep uh, keep in control.
I really want to go kill Madagascar over here. <laughs> and ta na 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 Revo. Just build up an army of like 10 guys and go slaughter them. Uh, but no, we don't have the right civics for that yet. Alright, now let's go ahead and queue up Chiefdom. It's going to be a while. One thing that would have helped is if we had uh, beelined towards a religion and founded a religion that would have put happiness in there. That's free happiness with a religion. But whatever, Axum is now happy. Wealthiest. Not us. Big surprise. I do want to put a city over here somewhere to gather up all these dyes. Because that's a lot of gold. And I also think we should have a city down here take the apples, horses, and the opium. So maybe like right here. And then right here. Yeah, that's that's a good plan. Das, das is good. Oh, what the fuck is that? A moon bear. Why? Because he's mooning us? Moon bear. Moon bear pig. Let's go kill it. Kill it. Oh, we got a subdued moon bear. Nice. And it went to the capital. Lovely. Oh, look at this. So a regular bear is not good enough to do the master hunter building. But the moon bear, that is definitely good enough to do master hunter building. So now we are allowed to build advanced scouting units the tracker the hunter the ranger etc very nice i think we're going to do that right now uh, tracker bingo just build like three of them you come back here oh man Master Hunter, finally, in 14,700 BC, we finally got Master Hunter. <laughs> normally, normally you get that a long time earlier. Whoa, we just discovered a whole bunch of shit. What did we discover? Lobsters? I think it's lobsters. Yeah. And shrimp and fish and stuff. Alright, Master Hunter. He already comes with Hunter 1. Let's give him Hunter 2. And I also want to give him uh, the desert bonus, but I don't think we have enough XP. We do not. So he'll have to earn the crossing desert bonus on his own. Go ahead and go hunt. And just heal up, Mr. Mace Man. Mr. Mace Man... Elder Council, you give me science, don't you? Yes, you do. And then do the Sage's Hut. And then... Uh, Stoneworker, not going to be super useful. Uh, mask Carver. Uh, tattoos. Childbirth. Trails. Do that first.
yeah, just queue up a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> On the second tracker, I think I'm going to give him the desert bonus, just so we can get across that damn desert. There may be nothing down there. Like, that that might be the end of the continent, right there. Did we just lose our tracker already? Really? Really? We just got him. Oh, by a rogue. Yeah, fucking rogues. Get the desert bonus. There you go. Now go to the desert, and don't die to a fucking rogue. Oh, wait a minute, we already explored everything down here, and we can't go past, and that probably is the end of the continent anyway. Oh, well, whatever, just go hunting then. I didn't realize that was the... I didn't, reali I didn't realize we had already explored all this, but this is apparently the end of the continent. Well, this is an absolute shitty continent we're on, especially since we can't even explore this area. It could go on forever over there, who knows? We'll never know, because <laughs> we can't explore there. Mr. Tracker Dude, why don't you go up here and kill these fucking animals that I see up here? This way. Come this way. Did he get killed by the rogue again? Damn it. <laughs> That's so annoying. Uh, you're just doing money, you're just doing money, you're not going to worry about money right now. Science is definitely yes. Tattoo Hut, might as well. Sage's Hut, definitely yes. Uh, build this first. Uh, actually, build this and then this. Uh, put this in there somewhere and all these as well. That rogue is going to be a pain in the ass. To deal with a rogue, we're going to have to get some trained dogs, which requires a dog breeder, uh, so that we can see them. Other option would be to get a bandit's hut, and then we can train our own rogues. Alright. Well, that sucks. Three trackers and nothing to show for it so far. Well, this guy's not dead yet. That's good. Oh, Rogue just smashed one of our shit. Damn it, Rogue. Oh, I can see him. Damn it, give me control of my mouse. Give me control of my mouse, damn it. Stupid auto ending turn. Don't end the turn when I'm trying to click on shit. Ah, oh, it keeps auto-ending the turn. If I can see an enemy unit, I want to go kill him. Don't auto-end the turn when I can see an enemy unit. For fuck's sake. Hooray, our tracker killed something. Oh, there he is. He's up there. This guy has the desert bonus, but now he's in the Arctic. <laughs> uh, Subdue so Caribou. We could do a Master Hunter with that. Do Myth of the Deer. 
Uh, could do a deer herd. Yeah, let's do a deer herd. Why not? Gives you some food. Where's that rogue? I don't know, but let's kill this guy. Kill the wolverine. Good. That bastard destroyed our reindeer camp, our timber yard, and our fine clay thing. You guys are going to stay in the Arctic, aren't you? Hey, you suck. We can kill you, but we'd have to walk through two Arctic tiles to get to you. So we'll just stay right there. See if you get close. If you get close, I'll attack. Otherwise, we'll just ignore you. Elder Council, that gives science, right? Science, yeah, that's fine. Science is good. Something else got destroyed. Can I take control of my shit, please? Nope, it's going to auto end my turn again. Uh. And you're going to continue to auto end my turn, even though the rogue is right there, but I can't attack him. Because you have to be able to see him if you want to attack him. <laughs> Otherwise, you just walk right through them. Let's do that dog breeder, and we can put trained dogs everywhere so we can see the fucking rogues. As that really is fucking up my uh, my little kingdom here. Yeah, banditry helps out a little bit. We get more experience for new units. Uh, more experience gained from combat within our own borders. Uh, maintenance gets reduced. Uh, rebelliousness gets reduced. Yeah, that is just pimp. Alright, just go hunting. See if you can find anything. Oh, we're finally healthy up here. Nice. Good job getting healthy. Really want to get the chiefdom. 
And then we can actually found a new city. Then we can go back to training an army. Because if we found a city like right around here, or maybe out here, I know we want one here, but if we found a city somewhere around here, that'll that'll be a nice place to bridge our armies into these two cities. There's a barbarian fish in the water. Oh no. Oh, our tracker upgraded automatically into a hunter. Cool. And he can kill scouts now. Nice. He did kill a scout. Nice job, dude. Uh, yeah, I want some gatherers as soon as possible. But I need the trained dogs first. I want three of them. And then I want some gatherers. Like six of them. Good job, Mr. Hunter. It's a mammoth. Alright, we have a trained dogs. I don't really care what he gets. Uh, whatever. Just straight up strength. And I want you up here. Bamboo Grove is done. What else can we build here? Um, dog Trainer would be good. Any other hammer buildings? No, we have science buildings. Happiness buildings, hammers, food, happiness, health, happiness. Alright, we got a lot of shit coming. Ooh, quarry. Stone quarry. Yeah, definitely build that. You can stay right here. Dogs can see hidden units. It's not like 100%, but sometimes they can see them. And if you spot them for an instant, like we did down here, then they won't disappear, so you can attack them. Our hunter is following the scouts around. He's probably going to kill him. <laughs> Uh, tribal, no, let's wait until we get chiefdom, then we'll do it all at once. What the fuck is this? Holy shit, saltwater crocodile, large, five meter. That is a pretty big crocodile. Alright, so we got some gatherers coming out now, very good.
most advanced civilizations in the world. Not us. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Alright, our gatherers are coming out. Just go do whatever you want to do. I'm going to put my... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put my maceman up on this hill. So if we do see a rogue come by, we can attack him. Oh, it looks like we've expanded our borders enough that our lands have linked up. That's pretty cool. Except we can't actually put a road through the volcano, so we'll have to go around the volcano. <laughs> Alright, just chill there. Alright, Ishikari is happy again. Very good. So all my cities are happy. This is the only one that's unhealthy, but it's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Actually, instead of a gatherer, I want a tribe so we can expand our, our civilization. Uh, so give me two... Give me two atlatls and a tribe. Wow, 27 turns. No sign of the rogue. That's good. Looks like the volcano died out. Oh, dormant. <laughs> Not extinct, just dormant. Chiefdom, finally. Alright. Alright, let's take a look at what Chiefdom does for us. Well, actually, we already looked at it. Of course we want Chiefdom. It's going to reduce maintenance cost. It's going to reduce unhappiness. And it's going to allow us to have up to six cities. And we're going to switch over to Tribal. It's going to reduce unhealthiness. It's going to give us better production. Uh, less food required to grow. It's just pimp in all ways possible. Alright, four turn revolution. I don't really care what I want to go for. Actually, I do want tanning. But uh, before we do anything else, I need something important. Where is it? There it is. Sedentary lifestyle. So this is a whole new style of life. It means everyone kind of stays in one place, no longer wandering around, just gathering stuff. So this is going to be a long process, and we are getting flint napping, we are getting tanning. Okay, so we're going to get everything that I want anyway, except portable shelters. I do want teepees. Nah, we'll ignore it. Some volcanoes going off, who cares? Our, 
Hunter Hunter killed another scout. <laughs> guy's just having a grand old time murdering people over it. There's another scout for him to kill next turn. He's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This guy is a murdering maniac. And I approve. Oh, he's healing up instead of attacking people. Well, I guess you do need to heal once in a while. We're going to let Axum grow. Wait, does it have the happiness to grow? Oh yeah, so we have tons of happiness now. Just switching civics over to chiefdom has made our happiness shoot through the roof. We're going to switch over to something else just for one turn. Is there something super quick we could do? A palisade. It's just not worth it. Whatever, we'll do a palisade. <laughs> it's so stupid to do, but whatever. I just want to do that so it'll grow, because it's that it's almost gonna grow. And then that'll actually build the tribe faster, because it'll have more tiles being worked. That means more hammers and more food. And hammers and food are directly responsible for how fast you can put out your tribe. Much better. So if we zoom in on the city now, you can see it has some sticks going around it with spikes. That's our palisade. Looks like that rogue is leaving us alone now that we have trained dogs everywhere. Ooh, a moon bear. Kill it. Yeah, take that moon bear. Oh, we subdued it. Cool. Oh shit, there's an alligator there, or crocodile there. I hope it doesn't attack. <laughs> oh, it attacked. Damn it. No, our gatherer... Oh, here we go. So our gatherer was destroyed by a rogue, and our dogs can see the rogue. So now we kill the rogue. Easy as pie. All right. So we have a bear. We could do Myth of the Bear, which gives us plus one science. We could make it a military standard, which means our armies would carry this flag into battle, and it gives them plus one experience points. Uh, we could do a governor's pets, which would give plus one happiness in that city that we build it. I think we're just going to do Myth of the Bear, though. Hopefully we'll start getting more and more of these as uh, as our hunter gets better. He'll start killing more and more animals. And killing more and more scouts. Can't kill the crocodile. Just, yeah, just heal up. Alright, so it sucks that he killed our gatherer. But at least we killed one of their rogues. Yeah, trained dogs make that so much nicer. Ah, so he can only he can only walk through desert tiles safely. He cannot walk through these. These are considered dunes. This is desert, this orange stuff. This white stuff is dunes. So he can't go through that safely yet. That sucks. Alright, just go back to hunting. Alright, you were successful. Just, uh... Just get a strength bonus. Go back up on the hill. You did a good job. But now I need a new gatherer, because that one died. <laughs> Oh, what's this? We have an attack coming from Madagascar. 
I'm going to bring my dogs. And we'll have to get in really close and hope that he doesn't attack us out here. He's probably going to attack us in the city, though. Uh, let's see if we can pump out a quick unit or two. Let's see, what do they have? Three Atlatls and an Axeman. What do we have? A Maceman, an Axeman, and a Trained Dog. Hmm... I probably want more trained dogs, to be honest, because they have a bonus against atlatls. So give me some more trained dogs. Let's see what he does, though. Yeah, attacking him, not a good idea. We have a 25% bonus defense here, though, so we should fortify here. We'll probably be okay. Where's our doggy dogs? Oh, he's right there. Let's see. Oh, he has another guy coming, another maceman. All right, let's back up one tile, actually, and see what he does. He'll probably go this way towards the city. No, he came our way. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alright, you go back in the city. Uh, let's... We have no defensive bonus here. Yeah, let's get our units. Let's go up on the hill. See if he'll attack us here. Alright, let's bring you up, up behind them. And let's take our maceman and our dogs and follow. Just leave one guy back there. He's going to have more dogs anyway. He's coming for our capital for some reason. Or maybe he just wants to pick a fight here in the woods. I don't know. No, he's coming for the capital. Oh, he has another guy over here. Stone X -Men. So he has six guys coming for our capital and another guy over here in the back. Yeah, he brought an army. Not a very good army, but it's an army. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go this way. We got a 75% bonus there. Uh, we're going to have to skip on the tribe for now. So let's just do some more trained dogs. Uh, we killed one and we lost one, apparently. That sucks, because we had a 75% bonus here. Oh, we lost both of them. Uh, train dogs, too. Hold on, hold on. Uh, we killed one. We killed two, and then we lost both. So we killed two of them, but we lost both our guys. Well, doesn't that suck? And we only have one defender in the capital, and they do have two full-strength units here. So this is a problem. This could be the end of our capital here. That's no bueno. No bueno indeed. Did not expect this, though. Uh, we might be okay. I'm not sure. The Tribal Guardian is pretty badass, but I would be... I'd feel safer if we had some of these trained dogs already finished, you know? Everything takes the same time to finish right there, so... Whatever. Are you guys coming or what? Oh yeah, these guys. Why didn't I bring them up? Uh, da -da. Yeah, we'll take you and the dogs. Come on up. I don't know why I didn't bring them up. I'm an idiot, apparently. Alright, let's see what happens. Go... Tribal Defender. <laughs> oh, they didn't even attack. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Instead of attacking, they just destroyed a stone... Uh, they destroyed a path. I mean, come on. <laughs> you brought an army like that to my capital where it has one defender and you didn't even attack? 
How wussy are you, Madagascar? How wussy are you? some defenders coming. It just takes time. And they attacked, and they died. Yay! Now they have one guy left, and one guy here. Ah, there's a, a rogue. Yo! You're no, that's not going to kill him. Are you going to kill him? Yeah. Take that rogue. Keep the dogs in the city. You can't kill him. You can't either. Really? Yeah, Axemen get a huge bonus. They get a 50% bonus instead of just a 25% bonus. But whatevs. I think our capital's fine. I'm going to put one dog up on this hill. Give us a better surrounding bonus of this douche. We can take this guy. Oh, yeah. Nice. I love surround and destroy mechanic. That is just awesome. 30%. 50%. Yep, give it a shot. Nice. Okay. You guys are pretty good. I think we're okay down here. Let's finish up that one trained dog and then go back to the tribe. And you... Yeah, that's fine. You can do another one. Uh... Let's see. Was that a macement? Yeah, you can go over here. And that was the end of Madagascar's attack. Little puppy got a promotion. Uh, da, 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 da. Most of these promotions aren't going to help at all because units that are good against them are melee units. So we could do this, which I guess we should. Uh, but the main thing I want these dogs for is against archer units because I get a 24% bonus against archers. But whatever. All right, just heal up. Uh, come out this way because that's where I want to settle the city either there or here either place will take advantage of all these tiles but this one will not get the horse it will instead get this die uh, that's probably fine the horse is good and all, but uh, being able to further block this off with the culture is probably more important. So I'm going to go over here instead. Okay, you guys, macemen and trained dogs. We're going to keep the trained dogs here. And uh, might as well keep a maceman here as well. Uh, Axemen, good, good. Let's get back in the city. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's go this way. They have this retreating unit that I would like to catch, but I don't think we're fast enough to catch them, unfortunately. Oh well, that worked out. Don't need two dogs in here. Let's put one on this hill. Just heal up. You're not going to catch that guy. Ooh. Yes, kill that thing. Ah, 
Ah, it, oh, it went over here. Damn it. <laughs> it ran away from me. Stupid moose. I think we'll take our maceman out, actually. Let's bring him up here. I think the moose attacked my dogs. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Alright, another dogs. We don't need another dogs, so let's go here. units. I actually need a couple units back here. Just one is not enough. I will need a dog here, so let's get that dog. You have a dog and that. That's probably enough. I'll leave it alone. We're building atlatls anyway. There we go. Now we can see them. They have an atlatl, a stone axeman. Let's just go put some pressure on them so we can see what they have. They have one defender in their city, but they only have like five units total. Wow, oh, and they killed some of my dogs. Oh well. Oh, they killed two of them. Damn. I'll kill you right back. They have, like, nothing. <laughs> I'm amazed how little defense they have. Got a great general. Nice. Alright, you can defend that city. Great general here. Let's just put him directly into military experience. So our units are better. Crazy promotions. I'm going to keep this guy surrounded. Actually, go here. What are you doing after the bamboo grove? Nothing? Hmm. Warrior's Hut will give us more experience. Yeah, we could go on the warpath here and just take this douche out. He doesn't have much left. It looks like he already lost his tribal guardian. Uh, yeah, let's get some macemen and just go kill this douche. Let's get a Warrior's Hut. And then just crank out a few macemen. We won't need that many. <laughs> oh, we lost a puppy. Which one did you kill? 
Oh, you killed that one. Oh, then I kill you. Take that. He has one guy defending. That is so insane. <laughs> oh, they have a rogue over here. Damn you, rogue. You little bastard. <laughs> he gets a uh, 50% bonus to animal units, so he hits with 4.5 strength against animal units. That's not good. I would love to get this guy out of the way, but he's kind of trapped in their territory. I can't really escape. Uh, let us I can't even pull you back. Fine, just relax. Well, oh yeah, we lost our another puppy. Puppy... Stupid rogue. Okay, so we have our tribe. And it says to go settle on the horses. Probably because it wants us to have access to the grapes and the fish and the lobster and shit. I don't care about all that. I want to block off this area. So I'm going to settle right there. I'm going to take the dogs, and we're going to go stand up here. Looks like the uh, rogue died to this scout. That's kind of cool. At Laddles, yes, but give me a dog first. Alright, you guys are all good to go. Oh, my dogs actually survived. Probably because that uh, scout killed that rogue. this way. Alright, we have our dogs. Just chill. We're going to build, what, two atlatls? Yeah, two atlatls. One for our capital, and one for our advanced position city. And then we'll go back to, what else are we doing? Gatherers. Yeah, we definitely need gatherers. We've got the warrior's hut finishing over here, so we're going to start pumping out uh, macemen. Okay, at Laddle's finished. So these guys get are the first unit, I think, that can get the city defense promotion. So we're definitely going to give it to them. Make some great defenders. And thank you, Mr. Sumerian Scout, for killing that rogue. Guy was a pain in the ass. Whoa! A fucking rhinoceros! Holy shit! Where's our hunter? Hey! What are you doing? Oh, well. Kill this scout. That's what I want you to do right now. Kill that scout. And then come kill this rhino. <laughs> Actually, uh... Can the dogs kill it? No. It's a fucking four-strength unit. need my hunter. Alright. Here comes our city. And what do we want to build here? Well, let's start with some production. Let's 
do some of those.